Hello students, today we will discuss about uh, the topic lac operon. Okay, this was proposed by Jacob and Monad. And this lac operon is composed of okay, different uh, types of genes, structural genes, operator gene, promoter gene and regulator gene. So all these present on uh, the one unit of DNA and that uh, unit of DNA will uh, work in a coordinated manner. Means all genes present in that unit of DNA will work in a coordinated manner to synthesize three different types of uh, enzymes. Okay, here uh, the structural genes are lac Z, lac Y and lac E. This lac Z has information for uh, the synthesis of the enzyme beta galactosidase. Lac Z has uh, the information for uh, the synthesis of beta galactosidase and uh, lac y is having information for uh, the formation of uh, permease and lac a is having information for the formation of the enzyme transacetylase and these three enzymes are required for the breakdown of lactose into its monomers Lactose is a disaccharide and uh, if it has to break down into its monomers galactose and glucose. So then uh, these three enzymes are required and uh, mainly the beta galactose is will uh, split that lactose into galactose and glucose and the permease will uh, uh, help in increasing the permeability of the membrane to receive that lactose and transacetylase of course will uh, add okay acetyl group to this uh, lactose so and all these three enzymes are involved in the breakdown of lactose sugar and remember only that uh, e coli bacteria requires these enzymes only when lactose is available in the medium so when the lactose is not available, these three enzymes are not at all required. So the synthesis of these enzymes will be stopped at the time when the lactose is not available. And as soon as lactose is available, so immediately, so these three enzymes start synthesizing in the cell. So that indicates that lactose itself is Okay, stimulating the production of the enzyme that are required for its breakdown. That's why the system is called uh, inducible system. So the lac operon is called what? Inducible system and uh, and the inducer is lactose itself. Okay, these are uh, uh, the structural genes and now let us see the other gene operator gene okay so this operator gene interacts with a protein molecule okay or regulator molecule which prevents transcription of structural genes you can see here the uh, this is uh, a unit of uh, dna and here uh, uh, i wrote p and p stands for promoter gene and this is uh, inhibitor gene or regulator gene and this is uh, promoter gene and this is O operator gene and these uh, three are uh, structural genes. So this uh, cistron is what this uh, unit which is capable of uh, synthesizing a polypeptide chain is having uh, three genes. So this is called uh, polycystonic uh, uh, gene. 
so this uh, all the all of them are having a common promoter and common operator okay so let it uh, so whenever this these three are synthesized we will get uh, uh, not three different uh, mrnas when they are transcribed we will get only one mrna and that mrna will have the information for uh, three proteins and what we call uh, such uh, mrna carrying information for uh, three proteins or uh, more than one protein is called polycystonic mrna okay that is that's what uh, uh, oper okay let us uh, come back to this operator chain so this operator gene uh, uh, okay whenever it is uh, associated with a protein molecule in the mechanism we will understand so then uh, uh, it will uh, stop the transcription of structural genes and whenever uh, it is not associated with that uh, protein molecule then uh, it promotes uh, the synthesis of uh, these uh, three enzymes or the, the it promotes the transcription of these three structural genes okay and the next one is promoter gene of course we know that uh, uh, already we discussed in uh, uh, okay transcription unit the promoter site uh, will will have information for uh, uh, rna polymerase so rna polymerase attaches to that promoter site or promoter gene that is promoter gene and the next one fourth one is regulator gene and this regulator gene codes for a protein which is called uh, repressor protein okay regulator gene codes for a protein which is called uh, repressor protein okay now uh, uh, don't forget uh, whenever lactose is available then uh, uh, this uh, lactoperon okay will be in the switch on position and when lactose is not available then uh, okay so this operon will be in switch off position i hope understanding so which one is uh, uh, switching on this uh, lac operon lactose itself and what is the name given to the lactose inducer that's why the system is called what inducible system okay now uh, uh, let us see the two conditions two conditions one is uh, in the absence of inducer in the absence of inducer that is what lactose the inducer is lactose so when uh, lactose is absent uh, let us see what uh, will happen so this is uh, the unit of dna and having uh, uh, all these genes okay and this is uh, uh, inhibitor gene or uh, okay uh, regulator gene i wrote i i stands for what inhibitor okay and this uh, uh, inhibitor gene is a constitutional gene constitutional constitutional gene means what uh, uh, in the previous video we discussed about constitutional genes and uh, non constitutional genes the gene which is always uh, transcribed is called what constitutional gene and uh, the genes which are uh, uh, transcribed only when they are required are called what non constitutional genes from this only we can understand that uh, uh, this if this is uh, i gene is a constitutional gene the rest of uh, the genes means what the structural genes are what non constitutional genes means what they are uh, transcribed only when they are required okay now uh, let us say this uh, uh, in the absence of the lactose this inhibitor gene is transcribed that means uh, uh, rna polymerase will come here attaches to this promoter gene and it will move and transcribes uh, one mrna and which is monocystonic mrna and this uh, monocystonic mrna is having information for uh, a protein called repressor protein that's why this mrna can be called as repressor mrna okay na? and uh, uh, let us see now uh, it is uh, here at the promoter region 
and uh, now this rna polymerase wants to move uh, forward but uh, there is no lactose actually that's why this repressor protein that means after translation so here the transcription is over and as a result of transcription we got uh, repressor mrna and this repressor mrna will enter into translation process okay translation and after translation a protein is formed that is repressor protein and that repressor protein now uh, immediately binds to the operator gene and you can see here uh, this is operator gene and uh, uh, it is covered by this repressor protein whenever this repressor protein and operator gene are together so you can see here i wrote here repressor protein plus operator gene so then uh, this operon will be in what position switch off position okay and uh, now so this uh, uh, rna polymerase which is here wants to move forward but uh, it is blocked the way is blocked so it cannot transcribe uh, the structural genes that is uh, z y and a genes will not be transcribed so uh, and actually there is no need also now uh, let us see the another uh, uh, condition let us see here in the presence of inducer in the presence of inducer is what uh, lactose when it is uh, present let us see what will happen and uh, already i told you that uh, this uh, i gene is a constitutional gene so it is uh, regularly uh, okay undergoes transcription and under uh, which uh, uh, mrna is formed which is called repressor mrna and uh, uh, when it undergoes translation as usual repressor protein is formed now lactose is available so that is inducer i wrote and that inducer now uh, gets attached to immediately that inducer that is lactose will attach to this repressor protein and once uh, uh, this inducer is attached to the repressor protein so then uh, what will happen so this uh, repressor cannot go to this operator gene means what uh, it is inactivated that's why we we call it as what inactive repressor now tell me what is inactive repressor uh, inducer plus that uh, uh, repressor protein together called as what uh, uh, inactive repressor and uh, you see i wrote here inducer and repressor protein and uh, this uh, lac operon will be in what position switch on position now i hope uh, you are understanding you see what will happen so uh, there is no you see rna polymerase has come to this place and uh, operator gene uh, is not blocked by repressor protein here and because of which it will move forward and it transcribes the z gene and moves uh, uh, okay further and transcribes uh, y gene and moves uh, uh, further and transcribes a gene and the result of which a single mrna is formed which is called polycystonic mrna or lac mrna and this lac mrna when it undergoes translation when it undergoes translation okay three different uh, types of uh, enzymes are formed beta galactosidase permease and transacetylase these three enzymes uh, uh, now uh, they will uh, okay help in the breakdown of lactose okay and uh, remember on this uh, this uh, lac operon should be always operate in low concentration so that uh, lactose can enter into the cells otherwise uh, if uh, uh, repressor proteins are many more than lactose so then uh, uh, the competition will be there and that's why 
always uh, the cell will maintain low concentration of uh, lac operon okay so this is uh, uh, what about uh, the lac operon 